Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Grid. We are a music and audio post-production house here in Singapore. My name is Edric, the Director of Music Production here at Grid, and today we're going to look at doubling tracks during mixing. Now, there will be situations where you receive tracks from clients, and you realize they would have been great if they were doubled during the recording process, but were not. So today we're going to look at different methods of creating these doubles during mixing. So before we get into creating doubles inside the DAW, we need to understand how doubles work in the first place. Doubles work because of the minute inconsistencies in pitching and timing during the performance. This causes specific frequencies to stack up differently compared to just copying or duplicating the track. That's why doubles sound fuller and larger and not just louder. The three methods we're going to look at today is using a delay plugin, a pitch shift plugin, and using a dedicated doubler plugin. The first two methods, using a delay and a pitch shift plugin, are usually available in most DAWs, so these two methods can be done without purchasing any third party plugins. Okay, so the first method we're going to look at is using a delay plugin on the vocal track. So over here, we have a recording from a previous session. Right, and you can hear that it's just one solo vocal track. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that track. Okay, and then we're going to insert the, de the delay plugin on that track. Okay, we're going to set the plugin to 100% wet. Okay, so usually for trying to get a double effect, you usually want to have a delay time of anything under 25 milliseconds. Um, so let's just try like 12 milliseconds. Okay, and from that you can already hear that it's got the double defect going on. Um, and because we duplicated a track, um, it's easy for us to blend the double track along with the lead vocal track, um, depending on your taste. Okay, and during some situations, if you'd like a double for like a left and right stereo kind of effect, you can even insert a stereo delay um, for situations like those. So let's go and change this to a stereo delay. Um, and same thing, you want the left and the right to both be under 25 milliseconds, but in order to get the stereo effect going on, they can't be the same value. Um, so maybe the left one, let's try like 12, and then the one on the right, let's put maybe a 18. Alright, so this one gives you a stereo double effect um, compared to the previous one where it's more like, more like a mono double effect. Yep, so that's how you get a double track using a delay plugin inside your DAW. Okay, so the next method we're going to look at is very similar to the first one. Instead of using a delay plugin, we're going to use a pitch shifter plugin. Okay, first step is the same. We're going to duplicate the lead vocal track. And then we're going to insert the pitch plugin onto the track we just duplicated. Okay, so we don't want to shift the pitch so much that it sounds out of tune. So we're going to stick to within plus minus 12 cents um, on this fine tuning knob over here. So let's try this. Okay, so you can hear that at minus 5 cents, it sort of sounds like a pretty convincing double. Um, so same thing, we can always blend the track we duplicated um, with the lead vocal track. Okay, and similar to the delay plugin, if you wanted to create a left and right stereo double, you just need to switch the pitch shifter plugin to the mono stereo version. That. Okay, so when you're working with the mono stereo version, you need to remember to unlink the left and right channels. Um, and I usually like to um, detune the left side and maybe um, uptune the right side um, of the channels. So let's bring this to plus five, and then the left channel is minus five. 
Okay, I'm going to bring it to zero just to listen to it first. Okay, so that sounds like a pretty good left and right double. Same thing, I'm going to blend it in with the lead vocals. Alright, so this technique helps a lot in bringing out the vocals during the choruses and helping it to sound bigger. Okay, so that's how you use a pitch shifter plugin to create a vocal double during the mix. Okay, so the last method we're going to look at is using a dedicated doubler plugin um, inside the DAW. Okay, so usually for most doubler plugins, you don't need to create um, a duplicate of the track um, in order for it to work because it usually has parameters inside the, pl and inside the plugin for you to adjust um, um, the blend between the wet and the dry mix. Um, but I usually like to duplicate it anyway because then it gives me the option of ha having a dedicated channel, a dedicated fader for the double, which I can blend inside Pro Tools. Okay, so we're going to duplicate the vocal track. Um, the one we're going to use today is by Waves. It's called the Waves Doubler. And we're going to bring it up. And inside the plugin, you can see that it's got the option for you to have the dry signal as, long, um, as well as two other um, doubled voices. So because we duplicated the lead vocal track, we're going to switch off the dry signal. Um, and we're just going to go for one, one uh, double for now. Let's listen to that. All right, so the default settings already sound pretty good as a double. Um, over here, you can adjust the delay as well as the detune, which is very similar to what we did for the delay plugin as well as the pitch plugin. Okay, I usually like my doubles to sound a little tighter, so I just decrease the values of both delay and detune. Um, and this sounds pretty good already. Same thing, you can always blend the track we duplicated with the lead vocal track. Alright, and similar to both the pitch and the delay plugin, there is a stereo version of the doubler plugin as well, which you can put in if you wanted to do like a left and right kind of double. Um, it's over here. Okay, you can see it's got the same parameters, it's just that now we have one more added um, pan value, so you can pan your audio left, left and right. Okay, so that's how you create a doubled version of a vocal track using a dedicated doubler plugin. Hopefully everyone understands better how doubled tracks work inside the mix. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you feel like the track should have been doubled during the recording but were not, you now know of a workaround to get similar results. As always, if you'd like to contact us, you can do so at grydstudio. Thank you.